the largest construction project in the world, is unfolding right now in the deserts of Saudi Arabia. It's called The Line, a city unlike any other, 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide, and stretching for 170 kilometers across the desert. Since its announcement in 2021, many doubted it could ever leave the realm of science fiction. The scale seemed impossible, and when reports surfaced in 2024 that the project was being dramatically scaled down, those doubts grew even louder. But the latest drone footage and satellite images tell a different story. Work on the line has not stopped. Massive excavation is underway, foundations are being carved, and new infrastructure is rising from the desert. Saudi Arabia is still building. The question is, what exactly has been achieved so far? And is this megacity still on track to meet its 2030 target? The line is the crown jewel of NEOM, a $500 billion mega project on the Red Sea. NEOM itself includes a floating industrial city called Oxagon, a ski resort in the desert named Trojina, and futuristic tourist hubs across the coast. But the line stands at the center of it all attracting global attention for both its ambition and its controversy. The plan is radical, a linear city with no cars, no roads, no pollution, entirely powered by renewable energy. Inside, up to 10 million people could live in vertically stacked neighborhoods where every daily need is within a five minute walk. Supporters call it a revolution in sustainable urban design. Critics call it dystopian, a glass and steel machine for living that strips away freedom, culture, and organic city life. Still, Saudi Arabia pressed forward. By late 2022, drone footage revealed enormous excavation sites. Fleets of trucks carved a trench along the planned route while staging areas and worker camps multiplied. Even satellite images suggested something astonishing. The entire 170-kilometer line had been marked for excavation from the very beginning. It was proof that the line was more than just a render. Construction had truly begun. But then came the first cracks in the plan. By 2024, reports emerged that the line was being cut down in scale. The reason was simple money. Even with Saudi Arabia's enormous public investment fund backing the project, the numbers didn't add up. Estimates for completing NEOM in full ballooned to an astonishing $8.8 .8 trillion. That's more than eight times Saudi Arabia's entire GDP. It was impossible to build the full 170-kilometer city by 2030. So instead, the project was refocused. A new CEO was appointed, not a designer or visionary, but the man overseeing the fund that finances NEOM. The strategy shifted from building the line all at once to constructing it module by module over decades. The goal became survival, build something real, even if much smaller than the original dream. Attention turned to a location near Gayal, where excavation looked far deeper and more advanced than anywhere else. Careful analysis of drone and satellite footage confirmed it. This was the site of phase one of the line. This first phase, sometimes called the mini line, will consist of just three modules, each 500 meters tall and around 800 meters long. Together, they form only 2.4 kilometers of the planned 170. Yet even this tiny fraction is staggering in scale. Module 45 has already begun foundation work with piling machines covering the area. Module 46 is the most advanced, destined to house the so-called Hidden Marina and the Neum Stadium, a World Cup venue planned to sit 350 meters above the ground inside the structure itself. 
This single module requires the largest piling operation in human history, 16,000 piles. For comparison, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai was built on just 192 piles. Module 47 lags behind, with excavations still in earlier stages. Supporting this effort is a massive dewatering system. Pumps, pipes, and channels designed to keep groundwater from flooding the trench. From above, it appears as a vast artificial network, channeling water all the way out to the Red Sea. Images from April 2025 reveal more progress, concrete works beginning, artificial waterways for the marina taking shape, fleets of trucks hauling rock and sand, and even new worker camps and wind farms emerging nearby. NEOM is not just about the line. Work continues on Oxagon, the futuristic floating port city, where harbors and supporting infrastructure are now taking form. Other projects in the region, wind farms, coastal resorts, and logistics hubs are advancing alongside it, slowly building the ecosystem that will one day support the line itself. The dream of completing the full 170 kilometers by 2030 is now officially gone. At best, Saudi Arabia will complete 2.4 kilometers, just 2% of the original vision. But even that small portion represents a feat unlike anything humanity has ever attempted. A vertical city wall, taller than most skyscrapers, stretching on for kilometers. Engineers estimate the first phase alone could cost as much as $370 billion. And even if it is built, another question looms, who will live there? Phase one is designed to house around 300,000 people, convincing that many people to leave existing cities and move into an experimental vertical megastructure in the desert may be an even bigger challenge than the engineering itself. If Saudi Arabia succeeds, it could prove that humanity can rethink the way cities work. If it fails, the line may join the long list of futuristic megaprojects that never lived up to their promises. The line remains the boldest urban experiment of the 21st century. It has already reshaped the desert, consumed billions, and forced a global conversation about the future of cities. But as it stands today, the project is a compromise between vision and reality. The world will not see the full 170-kilometer city anytime soon. What it may see instead is a fragment, a 2.4-kilometer test case that will decide the fate of the entire dream. Whether it becomes a futuristic utopia, a dystopian cage, or simply an unfinished scar in the desert remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the line is real, it is rising, and its outcome will define the future of mega cities. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the future of cities, hit like, subscribe, and join us as we explore more groundbreaking innovations shaping the world of tomorrow.